Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll see how we can write a Java program to check if a given matrix is a symmetric matrix. This question has appeared in ISC Computer Science 2025 practical paper. So let's look at this question. So according to the question, we have to write a program to declare a square matrix A of order M by M, where M is the number of rows and columns such that m must be greater than 2 and less than 10. Now accept the value of m as user input. Display an appropriate message for an invalid input. Allow the user to input integers into this matrix. Next, we have to display the original matrix. Check if the given matrix is symmetric or not. Now what is a symmetric matrix? A square matrix is said to be a symmetric matrix if the element of the ith row and jth column is equal to the element of the jth row and ith column. Also, we need to find the sum of the elements of left diagonal and the sum of the elements of right diagonal of the matrix and display them. Now we need to test our program for the following data and some random data. Here is one example. m is equal to 3 and these are the elements and as a result, it is observed that it is a symmetric matrix. And the sum of the left diagonal is 11 and the sum of the right diagonal is 10. Here is another example where m is equal to 4 and these are the elements entered by the user. And we can observe that this is not a symmetric matrix. However, the sum of the left diagonal is 17 and that of the right diagonal is 20. And finally, m is equal to 12. Now, here the value of m is out of range. That's why it prints size is out of range. So that's the question. Let's start writing the program. So here I've created a file symmetric.java. Let's start with the import statement. Then we create the class symmetric. Inside we create the main function and then we create the scanner object. So scanner in equals new scanner system dot in. Now, first of all, we need to input the value of M. So let's give a message to the user M equal to. So int M equals integer dot percent in dot next line. So once we have taken the value of m, now we need to check whether it is in the range or not. So in case m is less than 3 or m is greater than 9, then it's out of range and in that case we need to print size is out of range and then we return from main means we exit from main otherwise we create an integer array a and it needs to be a square matrix so new int m and m once we have created the matrix, now we can ask the user to enter the elements. So I can write system.out.println. Enter the matrix elements. And for this, we'll require a nested loop. So int i equals 0, i less than m, i plus plus for j equals 0, j less than m and here we will write a i j equals integer dot percent in dot next line. Now uh, we could have done one more thing here. Uh, we could have taken two accumulators 
for left and right diagonal sum. So I could have written left equals to zero here and right equals to zero. And while I'm inputting the elements, I could have done my calculation also for uh, the sum of left and right diagonals. So I could have written if i is equal to j, in that case, left plus equals to a i j. And similarly, if i plus j is equal to m minus 1, if that's the case, that means we are in the right diagonal. So, right plus equals to a i j. All right. Now we can print the original matrix. So system dot out dot print ln original matrix. So again, we require a nested loop. So system dot out dot print a i j plus backslash t. And once the inner loop ends, now we can change the row using println. And using this nested loop, we are now printing the original matrix. So once we have finished printing the original matrix, now we can check whether the given matrix is a symmetric matrix or not. So I could have taken one Boolean variable here itself. Boolean status equals true. That means I'm assuming that the given matrix is a symmetric matrix, but inside this nested loop, while I'm printing, I also check if a i j is not equal to a j i, if that's the case, then status will change to false. So outside the loop, I can write if status, then it is a symmetric matrix, else it is not a symmetric matrix. And we can also print the sum of the left diagonals and the right diagonals. So sum of the left diagonal elements is left. And similarly, I can print sum of the Or right diagonal elements as right. Now, once we have completed our program, let's check the output. So, Java symmetric. So, it is asking for the value of m. Let's enter 3 and let's enter uh, values 1, 2, 3, then 2, 4, 5, and 3, 5, 6. So you can see that the original matrix is printed and it is also printing that it is a symmetric matrix and the sum of the left diagonal elements is 11 and the sum of the right diagonal elements is 10. And if we give value of M as 10, then the size is out of range. So that's how you can write a program in Java to check if a given matrix uh, a given square matrix is a symmetric matrix or not. If you still have any questions regarding this program, 
get in touch with me through comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class.